Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce you two functions that literally without them, you're not able to learn MATLAB. So what are those functions that are very, very important? The first one is help. And why the help is so important? Because I literally never read the help of other softwares, but I picked them up. However, I can't do the same with MATLAB. Well, the help of MATLAB is a little bit different. Let me show it to you. First of all, you can access the help in different forms. For instance, if you come up and on your menu bar in Mac, the upper part, there is a help. If you click on it, you can search for whatever you're after. But first, let me show here. For instance, you want to find CLC, right? CLC, this function would clear everything. But for example, you want to know more about it. The way to do it is to type help CLC. As you see, if you type it inside the MATLAB, it will gonna bring a short description about it and will it will going to explain more about that function. Another one is the ABS, which stands for absolute value of a function or variable. And so if I type help ABS, and hit enter as you see it will bring another and more description about this function and i can even see other suggested items here to add the course there are some more complex functions that they do have arguments in predefined format and you need to know how to insert them it's a very good habit to double check everything before typing it in malab so the other one that is really important let me first CLC which clears everything so the other one is DOC which stands for doc documentation right if I say DOC say ABS right if I hit enter the documentation will pop up and it is really really amazing but be careful this is a very detailed and huge set of information and do not treat it as like a tutorial or a learning manual because you're not gonna finish it in any way this is huge the best way to learn it is through context if you're working on apps just search the apps function and see how you can use it and what are the other additional functionalities that you possibly can benefit let me read from start to the finish thing because it's really really big Another one, let's do DOC uh, clear. DOC clear. So it will give us more information about the clear function that I'm going to explain right now. And therefore, this documentation works for everything. All right, so let's do CLC. If you pay attention in the workspace, we have done a lot of calculations and many results are created, like four results and values are stored in variables. You might like to clear them, right? Because we don't need the X negative nine for everything. If I type here X at the moment and hit enter, the negative nine is gonna be reflected back because the value is stored in it. But the negative nine is not going to be the case for every single program I will write. Therefore, it's a good habit to clear your workspace if you're going to work on multiple programs. The way to do it is through a function called clear. So I type clear space and then I type the name of the variable I want to get rid of. For instance, here I would like to say x, clear x. And you notice that the color of the variables is also indicated. It's different indicating that it is variable, not a simple typing. So if I hit enter, you will notice that A is deleted. And if, as a matter of fact, if I type X here, you will notice that no value is assigned to it. It's just empty. Let's do it for other variables. Another way to clear everything in MATLAB because chances are you have created a lot of variables and just clear X, clear Y, clear Z is not gonna be a very efficient way of doing so. Therefore, another function is called clear all. And you can guess what it does. It will clear everything. So I would like you to look at this window, the workspace as I hit enter in the main window. Boom, everything is clear. 
How about the command history? The command history, you can come here and click on this icon and clear command history very simply. It will ask you, do you want to really clear everything? Yes. Back to the main menu, you can say CLC and we're ready to start our programming. Believe me or not, you have learned some of the most frequently malap functions so far and we're ready to explore more in future videos. So let's get started.